ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is Jen Society, aka Jen's, bringing you my review of Ember Light. Ember Like is a roguelike dungeon crawler made by Quarter Onion Games. It's set in a world where gods have given you a great gift and a great curse. You explore procedurally generated dungeons as the Knight of the Ember Order. You conquer the quests set out before your party and uncover lore of the land. You grow your strength by absorbing the abilities of your slain enemies and collecting powerful traits of dungeon bosses. This is a type of game that I do not normally play, but uh, full disclosure, I was given this key for free, but I was not told how to review the product. I was very surprised with this game. Um, I really did enjoy it. At first, I had no idea what I was doing, but as I got into it, I did enjoy the content. Uh, it is random, procedurally generated, so every time that you go in, it is different. Um, I think it was a little too easy. Um, I'm sure it gets harder as you go down into the world. Uh, it, it was a type of game I'm not normally into, things like Darkest Dungeon or something like that, but I was pleasantly surprised. One of the things I did not know was that you could injure yourself, and that was a surprise and a half, as I thought I clicked on a enemy, but I clicked on myself, used an ability, and hurt myself. So that was an issue, uh, not for the game, but for me, uh, as someone who doesn't pay attention. One of the cool parts about the game is the enemies, the abilities they use on you, once you kill them, you're able to absorb those abilities and give them to your party. As your party gets stronger and as certain characters get more abilities, they become more evil. And then I had to fight myself at the end of the dungeon. And that was a surprise and it started me over. Um, there is a few different uh, levels as you progress into the game. The tutorial sets you up nicely and lets you know everything that is going on. I didn't read, so there for a while when I was playing this game, I couldn't move for about, I don't know, three or four minutes. I played it off like I knew what I was doing, but in reality, I just had no idea. I couldn't, couldn't figure out what to do. But the game tells you straight up what to do. I just uh, didn't pay attention. And that is uh, not good for a game like this. You really need to pay attention. Uh, it has different rooms. Some rooms have monsters, some rooms have bosses, some rooms give you abilities, some give you potions and gold. It even has taverns that you can go into and buy potions. It has places to heal. And it also has a gambling room where you can go in and gamble hundreds of gold, thousands of gold, or a lot of gold. And uh, at first I kept clicking it and I kept losing, but then I started winning, so it does seem to be random. There is nothing to the gambling. It is just a roll of a computer-generated dice. One of the abilities that the Pyromancer gets is to be able to summon a minion, and those minions were really powerful, and when it came to bosses, um, I used those minions and really didn't have to worry about anything else. I think that was one of the biggest cons at the time because I believe I had out three at one point when I was fighting a boss and so they just took all the damage and they deal a lot of damage so they need to be fine-tuned slightly I think overall this game is great there is a uh, randomness to it that is nice you don't fight the same people in the same room every single time you can really get filled up on your abilities as you progress into the dungeon. Now, when you do that, you need to make decisions. Like, do I want two of this ability because it is on a separate cooldown? Um, or do I want one of each? Uh, there were certain abilities that were AOE. There were certain abilities that were single target. And you started to realize that stuns and AOE abilities were king. And so you would stack those and you could pretty much roll through the content now like i say i did not finish the game um but i did uh play for about uh two hours 
and it wasn't um, too hard on normal difficulty. Um, if you look for a challenge, I would recommend uh, raising it up. Uh, another cool thing about this game, it, it's not graphic intensive by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it also doesn't look terrible, but it allows you to select your computer hertz. So you can set it at 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz. Well, I found that interesting. Uh, the game doesn't really need it. You don't need to make split second decisions um, as it is turn based, but it is a nice addition that the devs put on there. I really think that this game is good. Um, it comes out, I believe, August 13th. Um, if you're watching this and it's past August 13th, well, you can go buy it on Steam. Um, and I believe the game is, I, I want to say, 15 or 20 bucks. One, one of the two. Can't remember off the top of my head. But make sure to check it out. You can join their Discord community. And you can find Quarter Onion Games on Facebook at facebook.com slash quarter onion. On Twitch at twitch.tv slash quarter onion. And Twitter uh, slash quarter onion. And the website is emberlightgame.com. So make sure to check them out. If you enjoyed this review, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, sub to the channel as we will have tech reviews and game reviews coming up. I am just getting started on this, so I am terrible at it. But hey, you gotta start somewhere.